event listener. Okay. Now, in one of our previous examples, in one of our previous lessons, we learned how to use the timer. So I'm going to go back to my document class. I'm going to import another package. I know that the timer corresponds to the utils package. So flash dot utils. In fact, if you go down this list here, you can see the timer is present in there. However, if you were not to be certain, you could click on help, flash help, and you could click on action script three components. Action script three language and components reference. And look at the class timer. The timer class is down here. And if you look at its package, it says flash dot utils. Okay. I'm going to import the entire package. Okay, and at this point, since I don't want to use the old example, I'm going to comment this code here. So by commenting the this attach goofy method, the entire goofy method is not going to run, nor is this class going to be instantiated and called. Okay. In fact, if I run it now, I see an empty stage and no errors. Fine. But at this point, let's say for this example, I'd like my stage to be slightly bigger. So modify document. Let's say I'd like it to be 900 by 650. It's a nice big stage. It goes outside the limits of my screen here. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to my document class now. Okay, first of all, let's create a property 